Hi, my name is Catalina Rodriguez, and I am a junior at Northwest High School. And this poem is called Size. Don't glamorize my size. I know that you think it's trendy to have a visible collarbone and a gap in my thighs, but I'm not this way for beauty, nor is this a fashion statement. And no, your admiration isn't considered a compliment to me. While you consider my size to be beauty, this isn't due to a high metabolism or dieting. This is the result of being given birth to by a junkie. I was premature. Do you on Halloween but delivered four months early? Do you still consider it pretty? Or is it just the idea of being Barbie doll skinny? It seems so perfect until you see me. Then it's just the concept versus the reality of my size being sickening. And if I begin to complain about how I look in an outfit, well, I'm in the color scheme you say I need to quit because you'd kill to look like me. And then you go on to complain about weighing 130 with no regard for the fact that each night I force myself to overeat. Step on this scale and I'm only 93. But don't you for a second think that you're looking at a girl who's speaking out about skinny shaming. I'm not preaching about how I'm comfortable in the skin I'm in. You're looking at a girl who lets her self-hatred eat her alive, someone who's blaming no one but herself for being so disgustingly thin. Don't glamorize my size. Instead of staring at the number on my scale, how about we focus on how well I lie to my mom about how much I weigh? Last week I told her I was 116 to help her through her day to my best friend who's trying to squeeze into last year's prom dress that she outgrew. I'll go with her to buy a new one saying I grew mines too to myself. I pretend that I don't know that I'm an easy target on the street. I walk alone to and from work and school acting like I'm not this petite and to my teachers. I tell them I'm not bothered by my peers when they ask what, if I'm bulimic or if I even eat as if I'm not aware that I'm this tiny. Don't glamorize my size. Instead of complimenting my waist, how about you go for my eyes because you're so skinny is not a compliment. I repeat, you're so skinny is not a compliment. And when I say I'm full, can I have more is not what I meant. And yes, I'm sure that a certain helping was enough for me. I'm sorry that you can't see me thickening before your very eyes. Because you're not starve yourself acting like this body type is a prize because it's not. This isn't something you want to win. Don't believe me? Take this body out for a swim with all my friends who are confident enough to wear bikinis. Their body types? Perfect. With all the right curves in all the right places, if you analyze their torsos, you won't see their ribs the way you see mine, suffocating as they force their way out of my sides, cutting into my flesh deeper than when I scarred my thighs, trying to bleed out and end my life because, let's face it, dead weight weighs more. Mm. Well,